In today's video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create these amazing animation effects in PowerPoint. Starting with my fave 3D modeling. First, we need to get our image. The one I use is a 3D model from PowerPoint. There are lots to choose from. I'm going to select a Microsoft product and insert this device. And now I just need to put it into position. And let's make it bigger. Use this icon to 3D rotate the image. And now make a duplicate of this slide. And then click the first one. This slide will be the starting point, so I just need to position the objects into their starting positions. I'm going to zoom out so I can move the text off the screen. I move the device here, but I want to turn it around. I could use this icon, but sometimes that's a bit fiddly. An easier way is to click the 3D model tab and select one of these views. Now for the magic. Select the second slide, go to transition and select morph. Press F5 to start your presentation to see it in full. What's more interesting in PowerPoint? A static number or a number that moves like this? I think you will agree a rolling number like this helps to build interest and anticipation in your PowerPoint presentation. If you want to learn how to create this animation effect, then keep on watching. Here's a slide I've prepared earlier. I start by inserting a text box and then enter the sequence of numbers that I need for the counter. Let's make it bigger and bold. I then resize the text box so the numbers go downwards. I want to put the starting number on the same line as the percentage. To make this easier, I'm going to add guidelines and then drag this line into position. I then just move the text box to it. The next step, I'm going to make a copy of this text box because we've had a really good year and the profits are in double figures. And now I'll add a shape which will hide the numbers as they slide up the screen. Change the color of the shape to match the background. In this example, I'm changing it to white and I remove the outline. Then send the shape to the back so it's behind the titles and text. I then make a copy of this shape and drag it into position. You also want to send the text boxes to the back to ensure that they scroll up under the shapes. Once you have the slide set up, duplicate it. On the second slide, we need to position the numbers for the final result. Zoom out to make it easier to drag the text boxes into position. So in this example, our profits are going to be 37%. Once this is done, click fit to screen. Okay, are you ready for the magic? Click transitions and select morph. Let's start the presentation to see how it looks. Maps don't need to be boring. Rather than using a static map, you can use the morph transition to zoom in and navigate around the world. Let me show you. So I start by making a copy of this slide. If I right click here and then select duplicate, I next zoom out, so I've got lots of space. What you need to do next is resize and position this image so that it's focused on the country that you want to talk about next in your presentation. So in this example, I want to focus on the US. So I just click here and then resize the image by dragging these handles. And you want the main focal point to be in the center of the slide. And you can use this thumbnail as a guide. And I repeat this process for the other countries that I want to talk about. Once you've resized and positioned your slides, it's always a good idea to go back to the starting slide. So to do this, I'm going to make a copy of the first slide. And I'm going to paste it in here. I click down here to fit the screen. And the final step is to select these slides here. And you can do this by using the shift key and then select here and that will select those four slides. Now for the magic touch. I click transitions and then I've got morph, probably the best transition in PowerPoint. So let's test this now by starting the presentation. There's my first slide. And then when I click the next slide, it zooms smoothly over to the next country that I wanna talk about in my presentation. Click again. And it's like I'm traveling around the world. Watch this next video to learn how to add audio to your slides.